Hello everyone, di mili sente chi wada chis kawo makado, di mdiru wa macheru 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 wa mlima, mlima South Africa venda. Welcome to my channel and to those who are not new here. Na tanga ne jwa habe, thank you so much and please do subscribe to my channel. I speak a lot about things that people don't want to speak about so please do subscribe to my channel and it's free, alright? I'm an actor, I prefer... A financial planner i'm trying to be fast so, so i can get to the point so let me just get to the point i'm an actor i do um um <laughs> social media advertising i also do consultation if you want to know more about what to do in um with your spiritual life i do those consultation it's 500 rands we speak for an hour on our whatsapp um video call and I'll, my number is 0635528385 or plus 27635528385. So we're going to talk about the spider web or what people call them. What people call cobweb. I say in the Z, <laughs> spider web. So this is what happens. Sometimes you'll be walking on the streets, you'll be walking somewhere and suddenly you are seeing that una, you are feeling like not the spider web on your face or on your body. Like you're just walking on the road or you're home or somewhere, but somebody will pass and not feel that. But immediately when you, when you, when you pass, they suddenly you are feeling it or it's on your face or whatever. What usually happens is that a person... People don't sleep. People are witches. People are doing things at night. And these are done mostly at night when they have seen your progress or where you are going the following day or what you're going to do. You're going to an interview. You're going to a business. You're going to this. And they want to block that. That is a setback of people trying to block you from being successful, from you achieving that thing that you've always wanted to achieve. So they're trying to block whatever and whichever way of you being uh, successful in the things that you want to do. So they simply block. They want to block you so that you don't get successful. So you know how a spider web is. You're, once you are inside, it feels like there's no way out. So that's what they want in your life so that you don't feel like there is a way out in your life. So you are just stuck. They want to bring stagnation into your life. So you can just feel stuck. Whether it's business, success, uh, finance, marriage everything must just be stuck in your life and you don't see any progress in your life that's what they want to do from what i've learned from my grandmother because it used to happen to a lot of people and it also did happen to me at some point in my life where i would just feel like una like a spider web or something on my face and it usually happens when i'm going somewhere important and i didn't know that that thing was a way of blocking my success or blocking me to not even succeed in whatever it is that was going to happen in that meeting or in that business meeting or wherever that i was going so it was a way of blocking my life but i didn't know but then i learned from my grandmother that these are the things that you're supposed to do if that happens to you if you feel that there's a spider web while you're going don't look back turn run away uh, because that is the another way of blocking you further if you turn and run it blocks you one step back my grandmother used to say it's five years of stagnation right two steps 10 years so you're prolonging yourself so you move forward you use your left hand and you remove it in the name of jesus you remove it in the name of jesus it's falling down you act as though it's falling down on your feet on your left side you wake and you <laughs> you stumble on top of it and you say to it in the name of jesus you are now under my feet you are under my feet i refuse i refuse this uh, setback i refuse that meditation i refuse um lack of anything in my life i refuse it i refuse to lack i refuse to have this stagnation you you cancel everything that uh, uh is going to be a setback on your life right so you cancel it and you walk you just go home she also believed that if you are a, if you are a person who is very spiritual when you go home you must use urine to clean your face clean your face with your urine right while you're praying and removing whatever that was put on you but if you are a person who who is a christian firstly you are doing the on with your left hand 
and you are doing the food in the name of Jesus. You are cancelling everything in the name of Jesus. And you, it is also believed that you should use the olive oil. Olive oil also helps with that. You can ask your pastor to pray for you and say, hey, this is what's happening in my life. Can you please pray for me? And your pastor will pray for you. And it ends there. Right? If you use your right hand to remove, it is also believed that it is another way of another attack, another setback. So don't use your right hand. You just use your left. And guys, you must constantly be in prayer at night. People don't sleep. People are against us. People don't want us to, to, to have progress in our lives, to succeed. You must always pray for light, success, and prosperity in your life at all times. At all times. At, especially at night. You must wake up 12, 3 a.m. and pray because these people are against you and they are using this by the or co-webs to destroy your life.